Very well, ladies and gentlemen. So unbelievable news for you guys. You might be wondering, IG, you you say this every single time. You are just a man with no shame. You just say this every time that you know this all unbelievable news. But this time around, we're going to talk about some stats of Serge Gnabry. Although we know that he's going to add value in whichever club he's going to go, there's no doubt in that, right? But <clears throat> what exact impact that he can provide for Arsenal straight away? That. we can discuss why not because apparently we should all right so yes we're going to talk about ainsley maitland niles's future how kevin betts the arsenal's under 23 coach is actually going to go so we're going to talk about that we're also going to talk about alexander zinchenko we're going to talk about koran santoliso let's just jump into it so the first news is of course granit xhaka met roger federer and he shared this with the caption what a feeling to meet the goat It is a fantastic feeling, but let's talk about Alexander Zinchenko. So Man City will have to convince Zinchenko that he will play more regularly if they are to fend off interest from Arsenal. So Mikel Arteta is a very big admirer of Zinchenko. So that's a very interesting kind of an aspect that Man City have to deploy because yeah, they're looking to add Mark Cucurella. So if that happens. I don't know if Zinchenko is going to have some game time. He's going to have a lot of issues there. Moving on, so Kieran Tierney spoke about his injury. Well, if you don't know and if you've been living under a rock, Tierney is ahead of schedule. Yes, he looks his fit, and he believes that uh, he might be ready in time to join Arsenal in the pre-season. So, this is what his message is. He spoke about his injury. He says, "I carried on playing for Arsenal, then reported for Scotland duty and played twice with no problems." When I was doing some leg exercises in the gym and my left knee clicked, I instinctively felt it wasn't right. The scan results came back and suddenly I'm needing an operation. It was so unfortunate. The verdict was 12 weeks. It was gutting when I realized the games I'd missed for Arsenal and Scotland. I'm a terrible spectator, not being able to do anything to help the team. I hate it. Whenever I've been given a time frame for recovery, I've always aimed to get back earlier. My target is to be back for the end of June and start of pre-season at Arsenal. I'm on course for that. My rehab is going well. I couldn't wish for a better support setup here. So one good news is that for the news for the season for the pre-season we are going to have Tierney back, and uh, that's actually a very good update. Apparently, uh, finally you'd want to get these kind of news. And as already posted on my community tab, Takehiro Tomiyasu was seen uh, training for Japan as well. So that is also a fresh and encouraging news that one would want to hear. Moving on, so Fabrizio Romano provides a very dry update about Yuri Tielemans, ladies and gentlemen. He just reported something which he reported previously. So, here's the update about Yuri Tielemans. He says Arsenal are still interested in Tielemans. Plans have not changed. He's a target for the midfield, but it's not an imminent deal as negotiations will take some time. Two other clubs are also in the race for Tielemans. He's going to leave Leicester this summer, and yes. So moving away for from Leicester. Well, it's confirmed for Tielemans that he's leaving. So we better believe that. That's what we believe in as well. Also, Sapa. Well, finally, there's a verdict from JE.Globo.com that Sapalo and Marquinhos have already accepted Arsenal's offer of 3.5 million euros. The expectation is that the deal will be sealed in 10 days. Sapalo will receive a first payment in June and another one in second half of the year. So, it will be paid in installments, ladies and gentlemen. But Arsenal have already got their man. Moving on, so Marcus Bring, uh, a Twitter account, has actually shared with us uh, uh, on his, of course, uh, Twitter account. Um, he shared the Serge Gnabry stats. Yes, probably talking about the dribbling threat. Which player increases the prob probability of scoring? If you see uh, 0.08, the top end of the list, you could see at the right, you could see Serge Gnabry. Yes, he is a fantastic bit of a threat. Yes, fantastic. Well, not only that. That's not just the thing that Gnabry brings in. Well, Gnabry's wide role has made his shooting numbers decrease, but his creativity plus dribbling improve went from an attack the box winger with the second best xG numbers in the team to being fourth, still a 90th plus percentile goal threat. However, if you can see, look at that. Look at that goals on goal, wide on post blocked. That's a change. He's actually a versatile player. Also, he adds that his underrated ability to finish with both feet. 39% of his shots over the last 12 months have been with his weaker foot. 
a very high share. So Serge Gnabry would be a fantastic player for any club because he's apparently leaving Bayern. Bayern are in for a very big shock. Lewandowski, Corentin, Toliso, Alaba and now Gnabry. It won't be time very, very we'll see Kimmich uh, leave as well. So fantastic. Moving on, let's talk about FDJ, ladies and gentlemen. We got an update about Frankie de Jong. So, finally, uh, after being linked with a, a departure towards Manchester United, linked previously with Arsenal, what does Frankie de Jong has to say about his next season? Where will he play? Where will he want to play? He says, I can't say anything about that, but I prefer to stay at Barcelona. I have already said it before, Barcelona are the club of my dreams since I was little. If other clubs call, I will take the call, of course. It is something that is always done. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, he'll take the call, but he will not not say yes to them. So, FDJ staying in Barcelona as of now. So, Jack Wilshere has admitted that he would consider retiring for the right coaching role. He says, it all depends. Because I've seen through so much in the last 18 months in terms of not having a club, I know what that feels like. If a coaching opportunity came up, I wouldn't be sad to say, right, that's it, I'm done with playing. Let's go. Cool. It's really cool. So, Ekrem Konur says, Arsenal and Manchester United want to transfer Fabian Ruiz. Well, yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he also previously mentioned that Arsenal have held talks with Fabian Ruiz's agent. Well, Fabian Ruiz rejected Napoli's offer to extend the contract until 2027. So... Let's see. Well, Lucas Torreira has made his intentions clear of where he wants to play next season. He says, my intention is to stay at Fiorentina, but the club will need to find an agreement with Arsenal. I'm very well in Florence. I'm very well in Italy. Very well. But, RAI journalist Chiro Venerato has claimed that Arsenal and Manchester United are battling it out. But he also says that De Laurinaitis would like to give away Fabian Ruiz valued at 30 million euros. And on him are Arsenal and Manchester United. So 25 million pounds or 30 million euros for Fabian Ruiz. Two clubs. Let's see who will get him. But Mourinho admits that he will miss... Ainsley Maitland-Niles, so after the season is over, Ainsley Maitland-Niles was let go of by Roma and it looks like they will not be making his deal permanent. So, yes, it has been clear that Ainsley Maitland-Niles will now return to Arsenal and finally will be searching for a new home and his agency would want to find him a new club. He's going to get, get that game time elsewhere. It's not going to happen at Roma, apparently. Moving on, so the managerial position at Crawley Town has been vacant since John Yems was sacked amid allegations of racial abuse. And it looks like Kevin Betsy is now emerging emerging as the first uh, choice for the club, uh, the candidate to become the new manager according to Sport Mail. That is actually a shock for Arsenal youngsters because he's a fantastic, fantastic coach. But moving on, Manchester United and Arsenal could sign 27-year-old Coran Tantoli so because he's now ended up being a free agent. 90-minute claim that Arsenal... Manchester United are possibly looking at Corentin Tolisso to add up to their ranks so that he could be a valuable asset to their respective clubs. With this, I like to end this episode. Let me know what you guys think about it. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers and don't forget to subscribe.